shout of praise tonight. Come on, let's give God a shout of praise after a while. Amen. Come on, give God a praise in here tonight. Hallelujah. How many knows it's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Let's give the Lord one more shout of praise. Let's make it sound like church tonight. Amen. God is God tonight. Hallelujah. How knows he's a good God tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now, would you raise your hands towards heaven? Let's ask the blessings of the Lord upon this service tonight. Ask God to touch every heart and speak to us tonight. We've gathered together in his name. We've come together to worship. We've come together to praise tonight. Come together to honor the God of our salvation. Father, we thank you for it tonight. God, we honor you for it tonight. Hallelujah, Father, thank you for touching every need. We worship you. Hallelujah, Father, every with situation. Lips of adoration. Oh, hallelujah, would you worship him tonight? Come on. We worship you. Hallelujah. As a company of praise. Let this temple be a place where your glory is embraced. As we stand in awe. Magnify your God. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Let this temple be a place where your glory is embraced as we stand in awe and worship you. And we worship you. We worship you with lips of adoration. Worship him tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. Oh, yes, we do. With lips of adoration, we worship you as a company of praise. Let this temple be a place where your glory is embraced as we stand in all. Come 
Worship him tonight, my, my, my. Hallelujah. He's a mighty good God. Come on. Come on. Let's give God something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's an awesome God tonight. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. If it's possible right now as you remain standing and get your neighbor by the hand for just a moment and ask God to touch Sister Helen. She'd been real sick yesterday and today. Amen. And for Brother Autry, amen. He came through the surgery. He's doing better. Amen. But he still needs a great miracle tonight. Pray for God to visit our hearts. Amen. I preached last Wednesday night. We need a visitation. How many believe that we need a visitation, folks? We need a visitation from God. Let's pray. Amen. Father, right now you see Sister Helen. God, we know that you are prayer answering God tonight. God, we ask you, God, to touch Brother Autry tonight, Lord. God, that everything, God, that there just be a speedy, a miracle recovery, Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost. God, for a visitation, God, upon Solid Rock Church tonight, God. God, that there would be a visitation, God, upon the churches in this county tonight, Lord. God bless the tent revivals, and God bless the, the revivals tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. And God, would you visit and stir tonight. God, we need you. God, we all we got to do is look around and see, God. God, unless our eyes are so blinded that we can't see. God, we need a miracle by the power of the Holy Ghost. God, would you stir our spirits tonight by the name of Jesus. God, anoint the man of God tonight as he brings forth that word to us. God, that we'll see signs, miracles, and wonders because of the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God a shout of praise. Amen. I told Sister Jean yesterday, I believe it was, I said, you know, we ought to be so thankful that we're not in the hospital. We ought to be excited that we're not sick. And I said then, you know, them people that's in the hospital, I mean, they ought to be thankful they're not dead. We've all got something to be thankful for. I said we've all got something to be thankful for tonight. How many of those we got something to be thankful for? I don't care what kind of problem you might have, but we've got a good God tonight. How many believe that? Let's give God one more shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a shout of praise in here. How many of those he's a good God tonight? Amen. Let me tell you this. Tell your neighbor, I got something to be thankful for tonight. Come on, tell him again, I got something to be thankful for tonight. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Go across the aisle, shake your neighbor's hand. Tell somebody, amen, good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. We'll see the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can see my father standing. He's at the door. This old world has been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. And Lord, I've never been this home. Take me home. There's a light in the window. Table spread in splendor. No one's old nor feeble. Oh, hallelujah. Well, my long come heart is crying. Gonna spread my wings for flying. Lord, I've never. Hallelujah. Take me we'll see the bright light shine. It's just about home now. I can see my father standing. He's at the door. Well, this the world has been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. And Lord, I've never been this home. Take me home. I can see a family gathering, sweet faces all familiar. No one's old nor feeble anymore. Well, my lungs, my heart is crying. 
gonna spread my wings for flying. Lord, I've never this whole world. Somebody give him some praise. Well, see the bright light shine. It's just about home time. And I can see my father standing. He's at the door. This whole world has been a wilderness. He yes, it has. I'm ready for deliverance. And Lord, I've never been this home. Sing me for everybody. Sing it with us one more time. It's just about all time, and I can see my father standing. He's at the door. This old world has been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance, and Lord, I've never been this home. Seek me more, Lord, I've never. Been this home, seek me for home, seek me for Would you give the Lord one more praise in here tonight? Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let him praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor God's a good God. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell it again. He's a good God. He's tonight. a good God. Amen. Before I change this, sir, does anybody need prayer? I feel somebody here really needs prayer right now. Amen. But he's a mighty good God. Hallelujah. Oh, he's a good God right now. We'll see the bright light shine. It's just a long time. And I can see the Father standing beside the door. This is the world has been a real dream. But I'm ready for the Hallelujah. Somebody give him a praise now. Come on, let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him some praise right now. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord is crying. Hallelujah. But thank God, spread my wings for flying. Hallelujah. Lord, I've never been this home. Sick me for everybody. Well, see the bright light shine. It's just about home. 
can see my father stepping. He's at the door. Sing it, church. Well, this old world is in a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I pray we bring this home. Sing before. Lord, I've never been this home. Sick before. We'll give the Lord a shout of praise where we're home, we're closer to home than we've ever been. How many believes that tonight? Amen. You may be seated tonight. God bless you. Thank you for being with us tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn around and tell your neighbor I'm gonna get my soul encouraged tonight. Go tell him. Come on, tell your neighbor that. Go get my spirit uplifted tonight. Hallelujah. Go get fed by the Holy Ghost tonight. Believing God for great things tonight. Amen. He's a mighty good God. Sister Sheila, would you come and sing for us tonight? Give her and the Lord a good hand. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to receive tonight's offering tonight. Go ahead and amen. Take that up. The offering takers would come tonight and amen. Ask you to give and let the Lord bless you. Amen. He's a mighty good God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who knows he's a good God? Amen. So give and let the Lord richly bless you tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Give Sister Sheila another good hand tonight. Amen. I just want to thank the Lord tonight. He's an on-time God. And I just praise him for that. You know, I can't imagine sending for somebody and them not coming, not showing up. Sometimes things can get in our way, and as humans, we just can't, you know, we can't always meet that obligation or whatever, but Jesus can. Jesus can. Hallelujah.
on time tonight. Yeah. I believe he's right on time tonight. Hallelujah. How many believe he's right on time tonight? Hallelujah. Come on. How many believe he's right on time tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. How many believe he's right on time tonight? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody ought to praise him in here. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give yes. God a praise tonight. He's right on time. Sing a chorus of that again. He's right on time tonight. Yes. Hallelujah, by the Just power of God. Worship. He's on time here for somebody tonight. Oh, Hallelujah. All I'm thinking is a turnaround tonight. Somebody praise him tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Would you remain standing? And I feel this tonight. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God a praise in here. I said he's right on time right now. I don't care what everything else. Amen. I know he's on time tonight. Hallelujah. I'm going to try to do this the best I can. But the first song we sung, I could feel that for Bella and Helen and all that was sick. And then this song confirms it. But either we sang that first song or the flag song, I don't care. But I want you two to come. And, yeah, Brother Jeff and Sister Doris and Brother Barney and and Timothy, Sister Jean, who, whoever else has got sick, sick family, if, if you want to. But I, I feel this of God. Or lost kids, whatever, whatever y'all want to do. But we gonna march around through here and show that devil that God's on time and stuff is gonna change. I sit back there and fought it. Don't do this. Don't do this. But I know this is God. It has to be. Hallelujah. Let's give God a shout of praise on that. Come on. Hallelujah. I know he's right on time tonight. Sing it again. Hallelujah. We're going to get that flag. Yeah, once you march with that flag, and we're going to. Hey, man, he's right on time tonight. How many knows he's right on time? Come on, give God a shout of praise with this. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Lord. 
Come on. Woo. Yes, I feel the Lord. Woo. Hey. Yes, God. My God. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise Him for that miracle. He's on time tonight. How many knows he's on time tonight? How many knows God is right on time tonight? Come on, somebody give God a praise. 
I may not be on time. You may not be on time. But God is always on time tonight. Somebody ought to give God a shout of praise in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here tonight uh, telling somebody uh, there's a newness of the Holy Ghost uh, in this house. Somebody uh, ought to give God one more shout of praise. Uh, Whoa, give God, come on. Come on, give God a praise. Uh, My hallelujah. Thank you for it tonight, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's on time right now, church. My, 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 thank you, Father. God, I give you praise. I give you worship for it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you give God another shout of praise? Give him a hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on. Somebody lift your voices to him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Before you pray. want us one more time with a jubilant praise with a heart full of joy with a heart full of gratitude hallelujah hallelujah with a heart of praise with a heart of thankfulness tonight hallelujah with a heart that says Lord I praise you that you're always on time come on let's give him one more hallelujah 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 come on Hallelujah. This makes me think. Uh, amen. One day I was reading the Bible where Jehu was sitting uh, with a couple more guys. And amen. The Bible says the prophet of God told the young man to run in uh, to anoint Jehu. Uh, turn around and leave. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Uh, but you get ready to get a change. Hallelujah. hallelujah. They were sitting there with yeah. nothing going on. Uh, but when that little prophet of God came in that room uh, with that Holy Ghost anointing oil. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he poured it all over Jehu. Oh, Something got on Jehu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ahab was dead. Jezebel was still running. Amen. The show. But God was getting ready to show the world. He was still God on the throne. Somebody ought to praise him. I feel anointing of God in here. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, I thank you. Jehu got up and they said, "What is? who was that madman? What was going on? But Jehu had all, all over him. He said, God has anointed me to fulfill the promise that I'm going to clean up Israel. Tell your neighbor, I feel like Jehu now. You know what it feels like Jehu is? Hey Amen. You get in that seat of that chair and you start driving. And you go on a mission. And you got your heart burning with a fire in it. Yeah. Hallelujah. That yeah. devil thought he wasn't going to happen. But amen. But God's still God. God's still God. Hallelujah. He's a mighty good God. Yeah. Then they said, I see somebody coming out there. Look at, oh my God, look how he's driving. Dust of flying. Hey Amen. Him, uh, I mean, maybe cutting in and out of corners. Uh, they said he's driving fiercely. Uh, he's driving this fiercely. Uh, tell your neighbor, sometimes you got to drive fiercely. Uh, you got to drive. Uh, they said that looks like Jehu's driving. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> tell your neighbor. Well, some of you guys are enjoying this. I can see that already. Next time your wife says, slow down, you say, I'm driving like Jehu. Well, you better listen to her. But anyhow, God, give God a shout of praise in here. Hallelujah, give God a shout of praise. Anybody feel like driving like Jehu tonight? Woo, somebody ought to give God one more shout of praise. Somebody ought to give God a worship. Somebody ought to lift up his name tonight. Oh, God, I feel that. He's right on time. Hallelujah, I said he's on time. 
Somebody come down front and begin to praise him one more time with me. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to worship God a little bit in here. I'm telling you about something. Hallelujah. 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 I'm talking about a praise right now. I'm talking about a Jehu spirit. I'm talking about anointing of God that the devil can't handle. He can't touch this Jehu anointing by the power of hope. Woo! Come here, Brother Johnny Irvin. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a praise. I feel that driving of a Jehu. Hallelujah. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Brother, I tell you what I feel. I'm going to lay my mantle upon you. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh! God, you're going to drive like you ain't never drove. Holy Ghost, feel him. Holy Ghost, feel him. Holy Ghost, feel him. Holy Ghost, feel him. Praise him in here. upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost. There was a Jehu anointing. Hallelujah. There was going to be some things you're going to pull down, take loose by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody raise your hands and praise him in here by the anointing of God. Jehu wasn't even expecting nothing, just sitting there, just sitting there. But that man came in and poured that oil on him. And the power of God began to change him in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God one more shout of praise in him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Chat. I'm not even studying, but God just brought it to my memory. Amen. About Jehu. Tell your neighbor there's a Jehu anointing in here tonight. Amen. There's a Jehu anointing. Anybody understand what I'm telling you tonight? 
Amen. God, amen. Uh, Elijah was to go back and anoint Jehu, uh, amen, and Zemariah and them, amen. Then to tear down the kingdom of Ahab and Jezebel. Uh, there was a tearing down uh, of some powers of hell. Uh, there's been some fortresses built up, uh, but there was anointing. Uh, I'm under a prophetic anointing right now. Uh, hell's built up against us uh, to cause us to look away. Uh, but I'm telling you tonight, uh, we got a purpose. Uh, we got a vision. Uh, we Oh, hallelujah. God, I wish some Pentecostals uh, would get a hold of this. Uh, my God, don't be Monday. I believe Jezebel said, you ain't going to last very long. You'll probably last no longer than your predecessor did about six days. Uh, amen. But I want you to know something. Uh, hallelujah. Jehu. Uh, amen. He finished his victory. Uh, hallelujah. Can I get a witness in here? Jezebel painted herself up uh, and got ready for Jehu to come. Uh, she looked out that window uh, and she began to belittle him. Uh, he said, who's on the Lord's side? Throw her down. Amen. Throw her down. Those eunuchs in there are leaning and throw her, throw her down. This may sound ruthless, but let me tell you something. When you come against spirits, you've got to be ruthless. Amen. You can't petty, 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 petty cake the devil. Uh, he'll run over you and destroy you, uh, your home, uh, your everything, your mind. Uh, he'll run you crazy. Uh, but I feel anointing in this house tonight uh, to tell uh, somebody uh, there's a J. Come out, come out. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to give God another shout of praise in here. I'm talking about anointing of God. I'm talking about anointing. And Jehu, he drove over her, went in and sat down and eat a meal. Some of y'all need to drive over that devil. Somebody said, well, I'd have felt sorry for it. You know what that woman did to the whole house of Israel and the judgment she brought on them and the spirit that she would not change because the Bible said he gave her a spirit or a space of time to repent and she would not repent. She didn't want to repent. She didn't want to change. God will always give you a chance to change. I don't care who you've been, who you've been, what you've done. I don't care how bad it's been. God says, I'll give you a chance to repent. I'll give you a space to change. When you pass that place, amen, then judgment's on its way. My God, somebody ought to shout yes in here. I feel a Holy Ghost in here. I wish somebody, I wish somebody. Come on. God, let somebody feel what I'm feeling. Hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Brother, I feel that for you tonight. Amen. You getting ready to run over some things. You getting ready to pull down some things by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody get here on up. Raise your hands and say, God, hallelujah. I want you to back up to about verse number 28. Amen. Give God one more shout of praise in here. Hallelujah. Go to, go to about 25. Amen. Thank you, sir. You're doing a great job. Give God a shout of praise. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. You got to remember, Jezebel killed Naboth. She lied on him. She had him murdered. But God said, where you did that, the dog going to lick your blood up too. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Go to the next verse. Amen. I just want to bring this. Amen. Amen. We'll bring this out. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what God said. Surely I've seen yesterday the blood of Naboth and the blood of his son, saith the Lord, and I will requite thee in the plot, saith the Lord. Now therefore take and cast him in the plot of the ground according to the word of the Lord. Somebody shout amen. Oh, give God a shout of praise. When Isaiah, the king of Judah, saw this, he fled by the way of the garden house, and Jehu followed after him and said, Smite him also in the chariot. And they did so at the garden. Going up of Gur, uh, which is by Abim, amen. He fled into Medigo, uh, and he died there. Uh, tell your neighbor some things are going to change tonight. Uh, and his servant carried him in the church of Jerusalem, buried him in the sepulchre uh, with his father in the city of David. Somebody shout amen. Come on, give God a shout of praise in here. Come on, give God a shout. I still feel this Jehu anointing. Uh, 
Somebody said it ain't all about, amen, being, being emotional, being all excited. I'm telling you, with that spirit trying to press people down, trying to belittle them, trying to oppress them, that there's no joy, there's no victory. I've got news. Somebody needs a Jehu anointing in here. Tell your neighbor this mundane spirit. Sometimes then we get through this pity spirit. I'm the only one. Why me, Lord? I done told you, amen. I thank God today that I wasn't in no hospital. If I was in the hospital, I thank God I wasn't dead. Everybody's got something to thank him for. Amen. I said everybody's got something to thank him for. Amen. Yes. You still got your children. You still got your right mind. Amen. You can still call on the name of the Lord. Somebody said, Preacher, when are you going to quit believing all that stuff? <laughs> Honey, amen, I'm not going to quit uh, believing that. Uh, amen, he gave me his life. Uh, I'm going to give mine back to him. Uh, hallelujah. Can I get a witness in here one more time? Uh, I still feel this by the power of God. Uh, amen, by the anointing of God tonight. Uh, I'm like Brother Shane while ago. Uh, I started to resist this. I started to, amen, uh, to amen, to say, God, no. Uh, but God said, Son, uh, you got to be obedient. You want the blessing. Uh, how many of those are still a blessing? in this thing tonight. Amen. Oh, I wish you could. How many hears what I'm saying? How many grab a hold of what I'm saying? Because there's anointing. And then this Jehu anointing, he begins to bring victory over things that have reigned and took captive. He began to break that. Go on, go on there about a couple more verses there. Somebody shout amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Now, this is what Jezebel said. As Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Has Zemariah peace who slew his master? His master only, only was king for a few days. I believe it was six days. What she was saying was, Are you going to be that short term too? I'm still boss, she says. But Jehu was under anointing. Next verse, please. Thank you, sir. You've done such a great job. And he lifted his face to the wind and said, Who is on, on my side? Who? And there looked out to him two or three eunuchs. Mm -hmm. Somebody shout amen. Now, let me tell you why he said eunuchs. Because they didn't have no attachment to her. They had no desire for Jezebel. <laughs> well, glory. He said, throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood was sprinkled on the wall and the horses, and he trotted over her underfoot. I want somebody to say, I'm getting ready to trot over some things. come in, he did eat and drink and said, now, see now, this cursed woman and bury her, for she's a king's daughter. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull and the feet and the palms of her hand. Dogs ate her. Now, we're not talking about chihuahua that you pet and keep in the house. We're talking about some ravishing dogs here. And the same way, somebody said, that's cruel. No, that's not cruel. God judges that. He judged the spirit. That Jezebel spirit is prominent in the land right now. Trying to take dominion over our minds and our spirits and our homes. I'm preaching to somebody that's been, you better listen to me, amen. Yeah, man, you're not your own. I can prove that to the word of God. You're not your own. Either you're going to serve God totally or you're going to follow up a spirit somewhere. And there's deceiving spirits in our land right now like I've never seen. Lying spirits, as I preached to you last Wednesday night. Does anybody hear me tonight? Lying spirits, you better stay with the truth. You better, amen, stay with the man of God when I open that Bible or, or other man of God opens that Bible or woman of God opens that Bible and they preach you that word of God. You better get a hold of it. You better take a hold of it. You better get it.
Because the word of God's the only thing going to save any of us. That gives me the victory to shout. It gives me the victory to stand. It gives me the victory that I can sleep of a night. The power of the Holy Ghost. God, I thank you for what you're doing right now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, there's going to be a change. There's going to be some people that's going to. They're going to wake up. And they're going to feel different in their spirit. Because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody raise your hand and praise him. A lot of people don't, don't understand this. They don't like it. They don't want nothing to do with it. But I'm telling you, we're in dire need of it tonight. Raise your hands one more time and just love him. Brother Richard, I want to pray for you before I close. I feel this. Brother Richard, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, raise your hands, church. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Yay. In the spiritual realm for you right now. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody raise your hands and praise him. That Jezebel spirit, that dominion spirit of hell, hey man, has been cast down. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. That thing's been trying to reign, amen, over people's lives. But by the night, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Say it again, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I want you to listen to me real closely. You need to walk close to God. If you don't, amen, you're going to get closer to darkness. What you know the truth has always been is still truth today. It ain't changed. Now, we can make excuses for it. Somebody shout amen. We can justify it. We can call it another name. Let me tell you something. I have fought all kinds. Sit down here, Brother Michael. I have fought all kinds of spirits. But tonight... Well, I've been having victory for a long time, but, but tonight you've overcome some spirits. Anybody with me on that right there? Most of our church is still asleep. You mentioned a devil that scares them to death. You mentioned demonic activity. They don't know what you're talking about. Because most of them, he's got them bound by something. Preachers afraid to, amen, call that demonic activity. Somebody shout amen. But tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, that Jezebel spirit has been thrown down by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now that thing's prevalent, amen. Don't, you, don't give it no room to come back. Amen. You just tell that devil. Amen, I bring you right back into captivity. I bring you right back into prison, but you're not getting in my thoughts again. Anybody with me here? I wonder how many of the devils fought you, fought your home, fought against your husband or wife, your children. Who knows what? It's a spirit. As I told you, I talked to a gentleman. God, a God-fearing, full of Holy Ghost man. So that he got discouraged and the devil told him how to go out into his building, barn, whatever you want to call it. Told him where to told him where to put the rope and how to hang himself and to kill himself. He said, I listened to that spirit. It was so convincing. He said, I thought that was the way that I, would make me better and make everybody better. 
walk out there alive. He said, the Holy Ghost quickened me and said, that's a spirit of hell. And by the grace of God, that man's alive tonight. By the grace of God, somebody ought to shout amen. Somebody ought to shout yes in here. By the anointing of God. Because somebody somewhere prayed or, amen, he could hear the voice of God in the midst of all of that chaos and, and all the spirits of hell. Amen. And he was going to, amen. He said, uh, I just thought it was, it's the best thing to do because Satan convinced me that that was, that was the best thing. And everybody would be happier. I mean, the devil's told some of y'all sitting right in that building the very same thing. Anytime the devil tells you you're not happy, just raise your hand. All right. Take your other hand and tickle yourself. I say, what do you think about that, devil? Buy you some bubble gum. <laughs> Eat you a chocolate Hershey. That will make you happy. Get you a three-quarter pound cheeseburger if that's what makes you happy. Don't have to sin. You can be tempted. You can be pushed. Satan tempted Jesus to the point, to the point that he did not cave in. By the grace of God, he walked away. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. They went to bury that evil woman. They found nothing but the skull, the feet, and the palms of her hand. Somebody say amen. No more Jezebel. Somebody drove fiercely and won a victory. God, I feel this anointing. I can't tell you why God does what God does, how God does it. Amen. That's not up to me. But there's anointing in here. Come here, Brother Jason Popworth. Come here, stand behind Brother, stand beside Brother Michael. Hallelujah. Come here, Brother Sean. Stand beside Brother Jason. Hallelujah. You don't, you don't have to join hands. Just stand right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One can put a thousand. Two can put ten thousand. When we come together as one, there's no limit to what God will do. One a thousand, two ten thousand, then there's a million right here. Number three is a million. So there's nothing we can't do if we stand together. That's why the devil's been wanting to divide you in your mind. If he can divide you, your house can't stand. Can't stand. But amen. I won't tell you this. Amen. While I'm on this, the Bible said two men built a house. One was a wise man and one was a foolish man. Both of them built the same house. They labored just as hard. The foolish man built just as, he labored just as hard as a wise man did. But you know what he said? I got a better way than God has. Anytime your way is better than God's way, it's the wrong way. That's good teaching right there. I said, God, a while back, the Bible says in Timothy there, amen, that they'll hire them teachers having each eaching ears to teach them or tell them. I said, God didn't mention anything about preaching. God said there's conviction in preaching. Now, we have to have teaching. That's part of the Bible. But when a man's preaching on the unction of the Holy Ghost, there's a stirring in it. It's not just knowledge. There's a conviction in it. God, I wish somebody would hear that. Hallelujah, by the power of God. I believe God's going to anoint you men by the power of God. Brother Shane, Brother Johnny, Brother Buddy, Brother Ronnie, Brother, all of you men. Somebody shout amen. All of you women, somebody will shout amen to that one. Hallelujah. For the things of God, I believe we got, God, somebody shout it again. There's a change in this church tonight in this atmosphere because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Don't ever underestimate God because he's right on time. When you thought he wouldn't show up, he's on time. Is that your message? <laughs> Hallelujah. But God's still good. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's still on time. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Father, I thank you. angels all over this place right now. There's ministering spirits here right now. They're here to minister. They're going before you, but they're ministering in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Come on, raise your hands. When it looks hopeless, there's hope. Anybody feel this in, my, in your spirit right now? Anybody feel this in your spirit? Right now, there's a concern coming to some of us in here right now. There's a concern coming to us. Raise your hand and say, I'm one of them us's. Say it again. Say it big and loud. There's anointing coming to us with a concern of one for another in this church like we've not had. We get ready to see something happen here in a miracle way. I thank you for it, Lord, that somebody will have to jump to their feet and holler, The Lord done it! Anybody believe me tonight? In the name of the Lord, so be it. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to give God a great big shout of praise right now. Come on, that's it. Come on, give him a shout. Come on, give him a shout. Oh, I believe we can even do better than that right now. He's a good God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, it's not just for the preacher. It's for you. Amen. Soak it up. Reach out and grab a hold of it. Amen. When, I, when I've been around men of God before, I said, God, let me just... Absorb what's on those men. Amen. He's a mighty good God. He's a good God. Brother John Irvin testified. You want to drive fiercely, don't it? Brother Buddy. Yeah, I want you to drive fiercely, but not that semi. I shout amen. Brother Seth.
shame. Amen. Thank you, the mighty good God. Amen. Brother Richard, say something for the Lord. Yes, sir. He will. He'll do it. I believe he'll do it. Amen. Brother Chris. Hallelujah. Well, have you been blessed to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Sister Rachel, I believe you're going to reach up by one day on the side of that face. Believe that. Believe that. I don't know about y'all. Have y'all been to church tonight? Have I? Hallelujah. He's a mighty good God. Are you glad to be in church tonight? I won't say this in, in a godly way. When people tell you that Wednesday night's not important, you tell them if I hadn't have been there on a Wednesday night, I might not be alive today. Who believes that? Amen. Amen. I know we. I, I know those times maybe we get hindered or something happens. We can't. But I'm. No, I said when people say Wednesday night's not that important, it's important. Who believes that? Amen. Amen. All right, stand to your feet tonight. Hallelujah.